Hello, this is the lockdown sourdough version for people who don't have all the equipment. So instead of a banneton this time, I'm going to make my dough and put it into this bowl, which I've lined with a bog standard tea towel. I'm just going to line, dust this tea towel with, well I'll use rice flour because I have it, but um, in case you haven't got rice flour, well I'll put some just white flour and never wet it as well. It's going to get quite covered in flour, this tea towel. But don't tell the missus. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put that from one side for a moment and I'm going to show shaping the bread, the dough. Okay, this has been sitting out for about 15, 20 minutes. Put a little bit of flour on top. I have a clean surface here and I'm trying to put, keep all the flour, any flour out on one side only. So I'm going to flip it over. I'll just put a little bit of bread flour on the surface there. Just so can, I can stretch it out like this. See all that gluten's done pretty well now. And I'm going to fold that over there. And I'm going to fold this over here. Make this sort of new shape. Pat it down a bit. Not sticking. Marvellous. I'm going to pull that. Stretch it a little bit. Pull it around. Push it on the fingers, pull it round again, push it with the fingers, and it'll turn it onto its seam. Too much flour there, brush that off. I'm just going to put a bit more on that patch there. I'm going to flip it over again so the seam is now on the top. And I'm going to brush off any ex excess flour there, and I'm going to do the same thing. Lovely. Pinch that in there, roll it. Pinch it in there and then gently roll it onto the seam again. A little bit of flour onto the top. And I'm going to flip it on onto its back, onto the clean area here. And I'm going to stretch this by pulling it out. I'll show you. Like this, pulling out like an octopus. And pulling into the middle and holding it down with a finger there. Stretch and pull, stretch and pull, and you're creating all this tension on the back, which will be the top of the loaf. And I'm going to flip it over and use the stickiness of the surface as a way of creating even more tension on the surface. There. That looks good. Right, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to put a regular flour not rice flour on this one. Scatter it on the top and then just lightly caress it into the surface. A little bit more. And then we'll turn it over carefully and put it into this tea towel and add some more flour so it doesn't stick around the sides. Now I'm going to put this, leave it out for an hour or so to get it sort of get the everything going with the starter in there, the bacteria going and then leave it overnight in the fridge. Um, and what will happen in the fridge is that gluten will continue to develop and we'll get more flavour and chew and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to carefully fold that over there and hope it doesn't stick by the morning. And I'm going to just fold that over and pop shower cap over the top. I haven't done this in a long time, so I hope that works. And I think that's all we need to know for now. So see you in the morning. Bye.